Okay, here we have 6.1, the cube root of an integer. And so it wants me to find the value of the cube root of 125. Now, it is good to memorize a few cube roots, at least one through 10. Um, but if you don't memorize the cubes, so when I say cubes, I know that one cubed is one times one times one, which is one. Two cubed is two times two times two, which is eight. Similarly, three cubed is 27. Four cubed is 64. Five cubed is 125. Six cubed is 216. Seven cubed is um, 343. Eight cubed, nine cubed, and then 10 cubed. Now I know this one is a thousand. Eight and nine I'm not familiar with. So five, one, two, and 729. So it's good to memorize these. You'll notice that I really only have one through seven and then 10 um, memorized. And, be, and the reason for that is because eight can usually be written in terms of twos and nine can be written in terms of three. So I don't typically ever use these numbers because I will just use twos and threes to describe those numbers. So that's why I don't really use eight and nine or I don't really commit them to memory. But, so if I'm doing the cube root of 125, what you're asking yourself is you're saying, what number cubed equals 125? And we already know because I already listed all of this stuff that that answer is five. So the answer to this problem is just five. Now when there's signs involved, it's very similar, okay? I know in previous topics, we talked about when the index is even, the radicand inside cannot be negative. However, when the index is odd, it's okay to have a negative. Um, and so I know that two cubed will give me eight. And let's see what happens if I throw a negative in there. So here's the question. Does negative 2 cubed equal negative 8? That's what I want to know. Because if so, then the answer is just going to be negative 2. What is negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2? This is a positive 4 times the, the leftover negative 2 does in fact give us negative 8. So then that means that the cube root of negative 8 is a negative 2. So big thing to remember. The square root of a negative doesn't is not real. It's not a real number. But the cube root of a negative will just lend its, give you a negative answer, okay? So you do the number just like before, figure out what number cubed gives you that number inside, and then if the cube root of a negative is gonna be a negative.